Hey gang, welcome back to a vulgar display of picking. I am that one Josh. Uh, this one is for Lock Fumbler 100. Uh, good job, man. Uh, congratulations on the 100 subscribers. That's a great milestone. Uh, I'll be there eventually, I hope. A um, couple of couple of uh, requirements for yours. Go ahead and pick the lock, and then tips uh, and stuff. So we'll see about getting this uh, puck lock picked here real quick. Um, one of the main tips that, that just resonates with me is practice. Um, I, uh, for a long time, you know, I, I bought all the, bought all the tools and, and, uh, had all the locks and, Man, I'd watch every video there was out there. Reset that. I'd watch every video there was out there. And then I'd I'd go to pick a lock and I couldn't do it. And I didn't understand why. Um But then I uh There we go. Um, but then I watched a video and it was Bosnian Bill, I believe, and he said the, the secret to becoming a good picker is practice. And that one, that was a good, a great tip. Um, that one, that one hit home with me. Um, because you can have all the tools you want. You can have every gadget out there. And the best tools. and But. It's not going to do anything if you if you don't have. You know if you don't practice. Um, so that, that one was. That one was a good one for me. Um, another one that I really liked. And I believe it was. Um. Uh, Albert LaBelle, um, he showed uh, taking your cylinder out, I believe it was Albert LaBelle, he showed taking your cylinder out and just looking at how high you need, you need to lift, focus, you AVE, stupid thing. Um, just looking at how, how high you need to lift each pin. And when I started doing that, um, it was really, it, it, was really cool to me how little effort it took to overlift pins, to get a pin to shear line what would happen to pin one when I got pin two to shear line and stuff like that. Um, that, that helped me a great deal. Um, and so that, that progressed my picking probably more than anything else other than the practice. Um, because I could actually see what was happening um, with, um, each little movement of my pick rather than just imagining it. I mean, it helps to imagine it and you have to kind of do that when, when you're picking, but to be able to see the shear line and see what happens to this pin when you get this pin to shear line and to see what happens to these three pins when you get this pin to shear line, you know, um, 
that really helped me out. And another thing that, that helped me out was getting one of these, um, you know, getting that set that, you know, a lot of people have, you know, that comes with this, this little, uh, sir clip remover. And it's got a couple different sizes of these, uh, cylinder holders. But, you know, when you, when you put the, the pins in there and you put your key in, you can turn it and, and make sure that everything's working. Now that doesn't work if your pins are too short, obviously, um, because, uh, that's not going to tell you anything, but if your pins were too long, you know, that'd tell you, that'd tell you, you, you know, you'd be, it, they'd bind up. So if you're making a, if you're making a challenge lock, like I'm getting ready to do for blue belt, you know, I, I filed this key down. If I can get it up there and get into focus. I filed that key down in a couple of different spots and I put the pins in there and I just, I put the pins in and I'd file the key for a minute and I'd put it in and give it a turn. And once, once I got it to where it had turned, I knew I was okay. So that was, that was kind of cool too. So there's a few tips and a, and a lock picked, uh, for lock fumbler 100 giveaway. Uh, again, congratulations on your uh, achievement. Uh, good luck to everybody, uh, on the, uh, giveaway and, uh, thanks for sticking with me. Peace.